Hello and welcome to Morgan Brayton and other people. My name is Bunbury. Today on the show, we are discussing the scintillating topic of pets. If you've watched even one episode of our show, you know that, um, well, I got a thing for cats. <laughs> And I got a lot of cats, and I really, really love cats. But now, I also love dogs because of this guy. I'd like to introduce you. Well, he already introdu introduced himself. He doesn't need me. But this is Bunbury. This is Bunbury, my hi, new Bunbury. dog. Oh, hi, Buns. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, even though I'm the only one on the show. Oh, you going to just lie down? Are you going to fall down? I'm the only one on the show with a pet. I know I'm not the only one who loves animals. So uh, today on the show, we're talking pets. Hey, ladies. Hey, oh, 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 o
um, if I could in my building yep. or if I felt responsible enough and sober enough, I would definitely have a dog. So not but there's a, a lot years. of work. <laughs> not for a while. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of work. My little, my little brother and his uh, wife just got a dog. And it, it, like hearing from the beginning, like when they, you get them as a puppy, and it, she's like 10 months old now, yeah. the amount of work that they've had to do with her, it's ex like and you training can't, and you can't do it if you have a job and a social life and are lazy. Like it's lucky like, for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but you have a family. You're not like I would be yeah. doing it on my own. It's different. You have yeah. two yeah. other people to help you. Three other people. I do not. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> but, yeah. He's so cute though. Bunbury <laughs> makes me want to get and one. And Bunbury is he's comes house trained, I assume, right? He does. So a little, no, a no offense, you're, he's a little older. Uh, <laughs> not that he's, they think he's probably two, two and a half. Okay. I know, yeah. he looks he like he's aging. 100 years old. <laughs> he's not carrying he's it well. Okay. He's like Bunbury. the Estelle okay. Getty of <laughs> But uh, he is a rescue, uh, and I would never, I mean, I would never get a puppy anyhow just because I don't have the energy for that kind of thing. Right. It's a lot like, of work. Puppies are kittens times infinity, mm -hmm. right? Like, right. that's a lot. Uh, but also, there are so many adult dogs uh, that need, uh, animals of every kind, rescue animals, that, that need homes. And yeah. so, for me, it just is a no-brainer. I would never get an animal other than a rescue animal. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it's all right. I haven't slept in two days because <laughs> he's, he's, it's like, where is he going to sleep? And where, is he okay? Does he sleep in your bed? Uh, he hasn't yet. I slept on the couch with him the first night and on the couch in the spare room the second night. We're trying to get him to sleep in our son's room, but he's so far just like, I want to be with you. I don't know who this kid is. He's grinding his teeth. He's making too much noise. <laughs> There's too much Lego in here. I don't care for it. That's so. when, when we got a dog when I was, and I wasn't a kid, I was 18, but. I wanted a puppy and we finally ha lived in a house where we had a yard and so we went to the SPCA and there's this adorable puppy, we got it and it was my puppy, but it immediately like just bonded with my dad, right. slept yeah. in, like just... But let me guess, nothing. your dad fed him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, my, like I was 18, whisper, so I, was, but... I wasn't really right. that responsible, so my dad yeah. also walked him and, <laughs> you know. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. But there is something about how you know you were 18 so it's yeah. a little bit different but having um having a pet growing up yeah. i think is mm -hmm. really you know it's not for everybody it's not everybody's thing it's not uh, uh reasonable for every household mm -hmm. but i know in my life that that my pets growing up were really really important to me help T teach me responsibility and compassion and caring for other beings and all that kind of thing. Um, but uh, oh, he's so tired. Really, he's tired of all this. He finds me boring. Um, <laughs> but uh, but just that bond that you have growing up with an animal is really kind of different than anything else. Did you have pets growing up? I did. I, my first pet was um, I got a fish. Which I, my mom's like, you can name the fish whatever you want, <laughs> whatever is your most favorite thing or character if you want like anything you want to name the fish you can name it so I named it eat because <laughs> I loved to eat <laughs> not to eat the fish because I no. was like I love to eat I'll name it eat oh my god that's I, did. Cool. I was little like maybe three or four I don't oh. know yeah it was a little wee thing I had fish as well I had cats always growing up I know big surprise uh, but I did have two goldfish that I named Mary and Joseph and uh, Joseph died, and Mary ate his eyeball. Yes. So, there you go. Beautiful story. Yeah. And on that note, we're going to take a little break. Mommy's crazy. <laughs> I know, you Mommy's just like crazy eyes. Ah, yeah. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more Bunbury, Frickton, L. Brayton, oh, and Lord. other people. <laughs> Welcome back to Morgan Brayton and other people. Uh, Bunbury did such a great job. We gave him a treat and sent him off. We're talking about pets here on the show today, and you all have done a great job. You are very good ladies. You are very good ladies. You're so good that you get a treat. Uh, our attitude adjuster for today, in honor of our pets episode, is we just went straight to a little hair of the dog, because yeah. I know y'all were okay. drinking wine last night, oh, and you God. might just need it. Yes. Little shot of whiskey. Uh, to Bunbury. To, to Bunbury. Bunbury. Congratulations. To Thank Bunbury. you. Yes. Yes. 
Cheers. Ready? Cheers. Do we have to and do the whole thing? Yeah. We don't have to, but that's you're how you do it. If you don't. Okay. And go. go. <laughs> so Ooh, as I was Katie saying, Katie Allen, I am proud of you. I know. Oh, you did. Katie. Katie. I tell you what, did she not say that. I know. She's like riding a bike. She, that's what she does. It. She's like, well, I couldn't possibly, so that she can just bam, yeah. just Boom. slam it. That's out. her drink. That's her drink. It burns. Uh, so we were talking about. I know for me, growing up, my my, in particular, my one cat Gink, who I had from when I was four, and she died when I was in my twenties, um, was like my best best friend growing up, and that whole relationship was really important to me. Did you have pets growing up? We had several pets growing up. Uh, we had gerbils. We had hamsters. We had cats. We had birds. Do people still get hamsters yes. and yeah. guinea pigs and stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. My niece, yeah. my niece first got a pet rat, and then the rat got cancer. And <gasps> oh, the mom, like. That's really what they're born I to don't do. Know. Yeah. That sounds funny. <laughs> so, so and, my, and my niece was seven at the time. But ironically, they had a rat in their shed at the same time they were trying to catch. But they also oh, had a no. pet rat. <laughs> so the pet it's rat very complicated, gets what taken to the vet, and the vet's like, like it's riddled with cancer and so my sister-in-law comes home and she's like listen Emma I'm sorry but Rosie has cancer and we had to put her down and she goes did the vet do everything he could <laughs> like, no. she was like, so upset and she was like yes she tried everything <laughs> I was like, no I walked in and they said it's got cancer and we said goodbye um, oh, Rosie yeah poor Rosie may she rest in peace <laughs> I have never had a pet at any oh, time wow. in my this life, which is so why I'm yes. such a stone cold bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I find it that might hard be to relate to. I don't. I don't even. I don't even really understand really? why people would want animals inside of their home. <laughs> <Really? laughs> and, it's all right, and you go to places, and people are like, oh, I was up all night. My dog kept waking me up. We're like, that's optional. <laughs> like you're, it's an animal. Yeah, but let's say, uh, what's your boyfriend's name? <laughs> Stefan. Bunbury. Bunbury. <laughs> say your boyfriend was up all night long. It's like, it's, like you wouldn't just kick him out, would you? I'm considering thing? it. Oh, I guess that's, that's fair. <laughs> Might it's not the be agenda. the best uh, way to frame yeah, that no, question. I didn't mean to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you, you've never wanted to have a pet? When I was very, very young, I used to bother my parents to get a pet, but I, I but I think that just, I, you know, kids had animals, and I was like, yeah. I want one, too. And then we never did, and that worked mm -hmm. out pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> the closest thing I had, the closest thing is that there used to be a, a rooster in our yard that had just wandered over from, like, a lot nearby. Oh, which like then, a rooster lot? Like, yeah, it was very know. strange. Because right. they know what a farm is? <laughs> well, then, but it, <laughs> kind of like a lot. But then I really had sort of, like, I had like the early morning wake up call of life on a farm. Yeah. But none of the other pastoral joys. Because oh. we were then, but we were on like a five way intersection. <laughs> I'm worried about what happened <laughs> to the rooster story, now. You won't like oh, it. No, I won't and like it. And you will be surprised. <laughs> really? Did no, your Eric, family you eat the rooster? No, yeah. but my dad did get real sour about it. And then when he was, uh, he was washing his truck and then he you sprayed it sprayed it with the hose and oh. the noise oh that, no. that rooster made that's abusive they don't like that Ooh. they don't not they don't care like for to it be watched. No. Uh, erica you mentioned horses <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so, so change the subject <laughs> okay so i i did not i did not grow up on a farm but i did grow up on the track <laughs> Um, the oh. race track. Yeah, like, like that explains more than my dad. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're yeah. really getting and everything yeah. coming into the together. Other people, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so my family had race horses. So they were like more like pets because they didn't actually ever win or make us any oh. money. <laughs> so, yeah. We, do my, they train them? Like, like what do yeah. you do with, like, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. I have to understand. When you say my family had race horses, like they yes. owned them or they bet on them? No, had them. <laughs> oh, okay. them. I just thought Owned you meant them. like. No, no, no. I thought you meant like uh, we bet on this one. It's, this is our horse. And oh no, no. Uh, we're not you taking would hire care of a jockey to ride your horse. No. So my dad was a trainer and a driver. So it was the harness racing. So oh. they've got the sulky. Oh. So I spent every weekend on the racetrack helping. Uh, my dad was also a farrier, so he would put the shoes on the horse. So that's oh, uh, cute. that's. And my for my eighth birthday, and we were really poor growing up. Um, because of the horses, so say, they're not cheap. <laughs> when I look back, I like my eighth birthday party was at the racetrack. My mom 
took all the kids to the racetrack and we they bet with candies. And now, as an adult, I'm like, that's oh, so no. inappropriate. No, I think that's To take a bunch yeah. of nope. kids to the track and teach it them how to the, bet. It yeah. was like, like late 70s, early 80s. It was that was the 80s. totally appropriate. It was the 80s. And Absolutely. everybody was smoking, like, and the kids oh. loved it. It, was, I it love is my that. sincere hope. Yeah. Because how everything goes in cycles and comes back around again, that that kind of inappropriate birthday party comes is back. on its way back yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know who can bring it back? You. Yeah. 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 You've got it. You're tired yeah. of going so to the climbing wall. My kid listen to me and doesn't want to do anything I suggest. Well, so so party <laughs> hold like that. that thought, and we'll figure out. You can instruct me on parenting. That would be great. Uh, so <laughs> Morgan's favorite thing. But right now, <laughs> we have to take a break. But we'll talk some more about pets when we come back on Morgan Brayton and other people here on Out TV. <laughs> Welcome back to Morgan Brayton and other people. We're talking about pets here on uh, the show today. And somebody mentioned rats, which rats? is a pet. People yeah. have rats people as pets, and rats. apparently they're very Ferrets snuggly. are really popular now, too. Oh, oh that's yeah. true. They're trendy. Gross. That's true. Yeah, they're gross. Well, and that's one of those things, right, is like, what makes a pet and what is... A rodent. Well... But I think there's a crossover. <laughs> but so there Rodent are things that are companion. that are that we consider pets, and we you know you wouldn't say like I've got a pet camel. Well, maybe some people would in some yeah. places. I don't in know. But um, generally, we have things that we consider pets, and then we have things that we consider food. Some of us who do other than those of us who do not eat our friends. Uh, and oh, I, don't, I know it sounds, so it sounds way friend. more judgy than I meant it to, but. <laughs> Don't eat your friends, that's all I'm saying. Uh, but there are some animals that are considered pets and some that aren't. But then there are pets that ooh, I don't understand why. Like birds, like I don't snakes. get. Snakes? Birds. My niece has a snake. It's a giant, enormous snake, that's but I don't crazy. understand. because. And I guess you can cuddle with them, but I feel like it would kill you. Kill you. Yeah. You can just feed other pets to it. I don't understand yeah. that. So why would you have a pet that you feed other pets to? I am not down with any like exotic animals as pets. I am I am not I do not support. I'm not down with at all. So that falls under that category. But birds, well there's exotic birds, but there's also just like bird birds. I had regular yeah, birds that. growing up. We had two had, love birds. Yeah. And they were uh, either, depending on what light you look at, the worst thing to happen to us, and also the best thing to happen oh, to us. Because it brought us together as a family uh, in the hate towards the birds. <laughs> really? Yeah. What was well, wrong with the birds? They were rescue birds, so they were... Well, Rescue, when I say it, was like, oh, our, our, our family friends were moving away, and they were like, we don't want these birds. You guys want these birds? And my younger siblings were like, yes, we want the birds. And my mom was like, no, we don't want the birds. <laughs> so we got the birds. Yeah. And then uh, it was a, 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 about a year of bird bliss, and, which was just a lot of loud noises. Yeah, and, yeah you know, birds are noisy. And super annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but then one of them, it was sad, because one of them passed away, mm -hmm. and then the other one was real sad. And we tried to clean its cage one day, and then it flew away into the forest behind our house. Oh, no. <laughs> Never to be found again. Maybe he's still alive in the forest. Who Here's knows? the baby. Maybe. I, choose to believe he I choose to believe that he's alive. Yeah. I yeah. hope he's alive mm -hmm. somewhere. Robin has another theory. No, I'm eating it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating it. Did your mom take it to the farm, like my family Maybe. kept it once? We did have an unusually small pheasant for dinner one day. <laughs> oh. oh. No, 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 that's a lot. Oh. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> no, my mom doesn't serve as pheasant. My first roommate had a lizard named Nazareth, um, <laughs> who was very cute. But um, I just, that I don't really, to me, a pet is, uh, it is family to me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, unless un something unfortunate happens, you have them for more than a decade in most cases. Um, and that's a long time. That's family to me. Mm -hmm. That's longer than I want any of you bitches. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, uh, I like to cuddle with them and hang out with them and, yeah, give them Instagram accounts, Robin. Yes, no, I, have I no do. With that. Yeah, this um. is Bunbury. Check it out. Uh, but, you know, that's, I don't, so a, uh, uh, an iguana, or what, can you cuddle an iguana? I'm sure that whoever Maybe. has the iguana loves to cuddle with the iguana. That's the thing. Sure. People like that are weird. What are about okay people trying to claim, falsely claim, companion animals? What does that mean? Because that's certainly an actual, oh, it's, um, so if you get 
uh, is it like your status for your pay your claim? It's like if I'm you're not clear on what how like mean like how a you blind can register. Person has a dog like that's their yeah, but certainly there's also just like emotional support yeah. animals. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and like that's, PTS, the PTS. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. So it's a wonderful service that a pet can provide, but then also people who sometimes there are some people who just want to carry their dogs around their purse, <laughs> and so they will claim the same, right. and because it, it's such a gray. I think there's mm -hmm. like, because the, I know like um, there's diabetic assist dogs. I'm a diabetic. I don't no. know if you know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. 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 No, no, wait. Are you type one or type two? Uh, type one. No. Thanks for asking. Wow. Type oh, one yeah. diabetic, you say. What's anyway, I'm so glad to hear that. Up. You haven't mentioned that in like three Ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, my chronic illness? Oh, that you're. Oh, give me a. Um, so diabetic. Anyway, with some more whiskey. Yes. <laughs> you can you can get a diabetic assist dog, and so they can sense when your blood sugars are at a dangerous level because if they go too low, you can actually die. Um, so, <laughs> you not, so wait, wait, wait. Here's a question: When you're a type one diabetic, are you allowed to? Are you supposed to be drinking? There is alcohol? no supposed to. Oh, this <laughs> is however you choose to live. There's with a, it. I yeah. have to. It's a regulation. It is you a must? regulation. Oh, I'm just checking. I um, think I'm going to get my but, diabetic. But these card are well. seven thousand dollar dogs, and so mm -hmm. you. I don't know if you get like a little certificate because I do think people, if you are claiming like an animal that isn't an actual assistant. Animal, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Do you, thing is it can't do you be think cheap. it's elsewhere or it's just Vancouver that people feel like they can take their dogs everywhere? everywhere. I don't yeah. know when this starts. See, this is my I question now, though, because uh, so we haven't. We, we've only had cats, and so now I have this dog, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to the, oh, I guess I'm not, I got yeah. this dog. So that's my question, is like, where can I take Bunbury, and where can I not, a and lot of you stores. think A lot of places you a can A lot of places dogs. you can. Yeah. I don't think you should, uh, I my own personal thing, I don't think dogs should be in places um, where, like, food, food, for sure should yeah. health, yeah, yeah, like restaurants yeah, and grocery stores. Yeah, but you stores. know what? But people do, I've seen them in there. Okay, but you say that, and yet, how many times have you been in a restaurant where there's some stinky dude, some white guy with dress Yeah, but he's, he's a rescue. He's a rescue, <laughs> and he doesn't know yeah. to shower. I will take somebody's nice, clean, well-behaved dog over a stinky white dude with dreadlocks in a restaurant any day. I agree. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I agree. Because that would be our distinction? Sure. Yeah, no, but I don't know. I don't know where I can and cannot take him. So I feel like I'll be out. You'll like, be can surprised. Can I bring my dog you can. in? Vancouver is a very pet-friendly city. I feel like I. Feel like I've probably... never been anywhere that someone asked a dog to leave. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I well, guess never. We you just have dogs like, where in I work. We have a patio and city bylaw. You can't have the dog in the patio, no. and that's mm -hmm. outside. Yeah, and you can't have it out there. Your patio's yeah. outside. That's crazy, right? <laughs> you know where I like dogs? I'll tell you where I like dogs. <laughs> Bars. When I was in San Francisco, when I lived in San Francisco, dogs in bars everywhere, and I loved really? it. Really? It's really so cute. Have you ever seen a dog sitting in a little stool at an Irish pub with his own tiny Where? little glass of Guinness? Have you? Because it's the cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Do they that play poker? That sounds like an Instagram photo. <laughs> Do they play poker? And are they in a velvet painting? <clears throat> uh, they should be, mm -hmm. and soon. Bunbury will be. I will teach him how to play poker. I don't, I'm no, not okay, learn to play poker to teach my dog to play poker. So much this pet on a dog. Is a lot of responsibility. So now you're transitioning from. You're not transitioning, but you were. <laughs> you were cat. You were. You were 100 cat. I'm not cat. I'm not, not cat. I know. So and that's a lot of scooping of poop. And now yeah. you're getting that hand in there. You know what? And I want to know. This is the reason I didn't want to have. This is like the number one reason that number I gave two, for not. Actually. Oh, but hey. Boom. hey. Oh, yeah, that I didn't want to have a dog for this very reason, <laughs> and I thought of that this morning as I was picking up my dog with a little bag, and I was like, "This it's is like why the thinnest I didn't bag want to But it's ever. cleaner than cats who are doing it in your home. I know. Then I, I also think. I'm right. sorry. Are, it, when you've got nine thousand litter boxes in your house, I would imagine. <laughs> then you have to have six for every one cat you have. Or no, something you have to have it? one more litter box for than cats. Than cats in the house. So you've got Which what? Which is why litter I have boxes? one litter box because I have don't zero have cats. Yeah. All right. That's all the time we have here today. I'm Morgan Brayton and other people. But clearly, if you need uh, pet advice. Erica Sigurdsson <laughs> is the expert. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. Please remember, adopt, don't shop, and we'll see you next time here on Morgan Brayton and Other People. What did Bob Barker used to always say? Have your uh, pets baited and neutered. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. That's huge. When you have rescue, you control the pet virus. Don't get me stuck.